Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we have a 2022 Subaru Impreza that has how many miles, James? It has <laughs> now 1,200 miles. Okay, so <laughs> new car, runs great, but the owner installed, uh, was it a ham radio? A right? ham radio, yes. Plugged it into the front 12 volt outlet Yes. And it worked for a little while, right? About an hour. <laughs> About an hour. Yeah. And then it stopped working. So what'd you do then, James? Take it back to the Subaru dealer? I took it back to the Subaru dealer. Uh -huh. And <laughs> they said it was an outlet. The outlet had been somehow fried. Damaged, okay. And I did actually come clean i said i did draw 11.2 amps and it said 120 <laughs> watts max yeah so that's 10 amps is that good and that's 10 amps okay so uh -huh. i did talk to them and they said they the one technician said we got uh battery voltage right up to the outlet so it's oh. got to be the outlet so they ordered me a new outlet three days later they put it in uh-huh <laughs> and there was no, no change. Nothing. No change. So basically, I don't, I'm don't. i not saying the dealer fired the parts cannon, but they fired the parts Beretta. <laughs> okay, you know. fair enough. And and didn't fix the problem. And it did not fix the problem. And, uh, and what, what did they say after that? They said that uh, because you uh, <laughs> plugged into something aftermarket, they love to use the word aftermarket. Oh. Okay, right. Once I plugged something aftermarket, it basically voided the warranty for that circuit. Wow. And uh, they will be happy to <laughs> diagnose it at $150 an hour. Okay, hey, that, that sounds fair. And right? <laughs> I've been a big fan and watcher of uh, Ivan's videos, and I thought of him right away. So here I am. Hey, yeah, okay, so... Pressure's on. I mean, how hard can the circuit be? It's a 12-volt outlet, and it's kind of funny they say aftermarket stuff. I mean, what else do you plug into a 12-volt outlet? Something aftermarket. <laughs> so, silly stuff. Um, this is the outlet that doesn't work. It's right in the little front console here. Right there. So, quick little check. If I plug my uh, little power probe adapter in, if that LED does not light, this outlet is dead. And you want to make sure you're in accessory mode or on. Light definitely does not light. A um, couple quick checks we can do. Use a test light to see if wh what are we missing, a power or a ground to the outlet. Then we can look at wiring diagrams, see what fuse it comes from, you know, go from there. All right, so one thing we can do in accessory mode is try the rear outlet and that works fine. You see my little light lights up. So now I have my long extension coming right from the battery and we need a good power and a good ground to do our checks. So you see my test light lights brightly. We have a good ground and a good power right at this connector. Now maybe we can demonstrate with the rear one. Let's say I'm connected to ground with my test light and I want to check for power at this outlet, I just touch the positive and obviously my test light should light. We can also check for a ground. So if we're coming from power now, make sure the test light works. If it finds a ground, it's gonna light up. And right there, it found a ground, it lights up. So this socket is no good. This testing is, you know, we can trust our tests. So let's plug it in here. I want to know what we're missing. We're missing the power or the ground to this outlet. So again, from battery positive, it'll light up if I find a ground. I touch it there, we have absolutely nothing. Okay? So we're missing a ground. What about the power feed? We'll switch, go to test light from ground. If it finds a power, it's going to light up. We're also looks like we're also missing the power feed to this outlet. What are the chances that we have a problem with the power feed and the ground on the same circuit? Is this thing just unplugged? We might have to, I want to, you know, get that socket out, look at the actual connector, see what's going on there. 
And one more thing we can do is check the fuse that feeds that outlet. It's a different fuse than the rear outlet. Um, that's the next check. All right, wiring diagram, very simple. Fuse number two, an accessory, it's hot. Here's the front accessory power supply socket and a ground. So let's check this fuse number two. It's uh, under the dash. See if that's hot when you have the accessory on it. All right, here is our little fuse panel. And fuse number two, take this cover off, is right here. 20 amp cigar and seat heater. And the one below it is 15 amp 12 volt socket. That's for the rear, that's for the rear socket. So we want to check the the 20 amp, which is the yellow one right here. Let's try it. Yep, it's hot on that side, hot on that side, and so is the lower fuse. So fuse is good. We're missing power and we're missing ground to the socket. It certainly sounds like the thing is just unplugged. So let's get it out, see what we find. Here. So the instructions to remove this front power supply socket are a little, little ridiculous because, okay, disconnect the battery, remove the grill assembly, meaning the vents, remove the audio assembly, navigation assembly, remove the heater control assembly, so this part, and then finally remove the socket assembly and disconnect the connector from the back. Okay, my concern is, did you see the photo? No. It uh, looks like they may have tried to pry it out with a screw. Yes, there are some pry marks on here, so maybe the dealer was trying to take a shortcut because they didn't want to go through all this stuff and I mean that's that would be crazy if they didn't replace it at all and they just told you they need diagnostic time because this might take an hour right and they don't want to do work for warranty work for nothing so yeah well we have to get to that socket we have to find out what's wrong back there so if it gets interesting we'll turn the camera back on alright so you guys know that I like to use my head more than follow flow charts and OEM instructions. This is a great example. So in five minutes, lifted the center console, just popped off these clips, couple screws, the side panel. We can actually reach behind here and there's our cigarette lighter. Well, what do we see? We see a pin that's not connected to anything and the other pin is shoved in the connector somehow. I don't know what that's all about. I'm gonna try to just either extract that or take that connector off. And I mean, that's our problem. This is just silly. Okay, so I got the heater panel off so we can actually get to the connector here. So it was plugged in like this. It looks like the ground was going to the power pin and the power pin wasn't attached to anything at all. So they just plugged it in wrong. How? I don't see how you can mess this up. This is supposed to be foolproof. You guys you see where the connector is down here. See my fingers there. So this sucker was plugged in like this and it's supposed to be plugged in so both pins make contact wow what a novel concept we actually need power and ground for something to work so there there it actually clips in very nicely so it plugs in now let's do our check with our little adapter and see if that socket is now alive. I mean, it should be. If we turn to accessory. Yep, we got power. We're done. Just put this car back together. What do you think of that, James? I think it's crazy. <laughs> 
So, did they replace they your said, socket? They said they replaced the socket. Now, the old socket, I said, could you test it? They said, the only way we can test it is put it in another car. Uh huh. I said, can't you bench test it? They said, we would not know how to do that. Oh. Well, apparently, replacing a socket, maybe they put it in, but they didn't plug it in correctly. It's a two-pin connector. You really can't mess it up. I don't know what to say. So, car's fixed. We'll put the video up. Maybe the dealer can... I don't know. I, I really don't, I don't have any explanation. <laughs> but the, the customer's happy. And that's, that's what counts. Um, maybe you should go back and say, hey, you guys, come on. Maybe Pl they plug can in your watch stuff correctly. the video. No, they probably won't, won't do that. <laughs> uh, maybe they just wanted an hour of diagnostic time. They plugged it in wrong on purpose. I have no idea. But that's it. No bonus footage. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see no you next time. No parts required. Bye -bye. No parts required. <laughs> that's, that's the key. <laughs> that, that's right. Uh, on new cars, on something this new, you would hope it's no parts required. <laughs> so, so the owner still can't believe that <laughs> the pot, that it works. So here's the proof. It's lighting my test light through and the, the <laughs> As Ivan would say, the proof is in the pudding. I think, I think Eric O came up with that. Oh, did he? Or oh, well, at least he started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to take his trademark. Yeah. But that's it. We're done.